Hello and welcome to Digit and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Omen Gaming Hub on the uh, Victus by HP laptop. Now this model number is the 16E 0075AX laptop. It has an AMD Ryzen 5 5600H processor and that's paired with an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 graphics card. It comes with uh, 8GB of RAM and a 512GB SSD. So uh, this is a gaming laptop and right here as soon as you open up the gaming laptop uh, at the bottom you can see over there there's this little icon now this icon is your omen gaming hub icon so i'm gonna you need to go ahead and click that it says hey you you're finally awake okay and this is what this app looks like so this is an app by uh, hp it's called the omen gaming hub and it says to unlock omen's potential sign in or create an account now now I'm not going to do that in this video but I would recommend if you buy this laptop actually do sign in and create an Omen, Omen account and then you can unlock various things like rewards and games and stuff. Now, uh, In order to actually monitor what's going on on this laptop uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here go to it says Victus laptop. So this is where uh, you can actually see your system vitals. So as you can see uh, you get the temperature in Celsius you can also choose to uh, toggle and choose Fahrenheit if you want so that's another setting that's there. I'm going to keep it in Celsius. So it tells you uh, your GPU utilization, it tells you your CPU utilization and what temperature it's at and exactly how much is being utilized and also it'll tell you the download speed and upload speed that you're getting in Mbps. So, so that's the system vitals tab. The next tab is the network booster tab. Now this is where you can adjust the priority levels of each app manually. So if, right now it's on custom, so in custom I can actually go in and I can select priority for apps for the upload and download speeds. So let's say you're a gamer and you want to, uh, and you want to run your game at a higher setting, uh, give it a high priority so uh, it'll get more internet and more bandwidth basically. You can also choose to put it on auto, auto automatically prioritizes foreground app to high and all other apps to low and you can all you can just turn it off. So when you turn it off it basically monitors your network bandwidth usage for all running applications so everything goes on um, so i would recommend to actually keep it on auto uh, or if you're a little more uh, if you're a little more heavy duty gamer and you can actually uh, you're able to actually tweak stuff go into custom and actually select things from there there's also something called dual force so this enables ethernet and wi-fi at the same time so right now it's off you can actually turn it on so this way you get uh, sort of both of the options. Now I don't have an ethernet cable plugged in right now which is why it's not giving me the option to turn it on but if you do plug in an ethernet cable you can uh, enable this dual force mode also. And lastly there's a tab called performance control. Now it says here optimize your performance by selecting the mode that works the best for you. So this has two modes as you can see it has a quiet mode and it has a default mode. On Right now it's set to quiet and you can keep the fan noise to a minimum so this actually reduces the performance so say you're in, you're in an office space uh, and you don't want this to make a lot of noise you can keep it on quiet mode uh, and down here it says fan speed so fan speed right now is set for auto so auto mode controls the fan speed based on the selected performance it's uh, it's right now it's on auto and you can all if you want to get the maximum performance you can click max and max overrides the auto mode and enables maximum cooling as you can actually hear right now the fans have kicked in and they are running now at max so that's what the sound that's what the fans sound like so this will give you the most cooling and the best performance you can also go to default which is enabled right now so as you can see uh, at the bottom it also conveniently tells you what the cpu temps are the gpu temps and your utilization so there you have it folks that was uh, sort of an overview of the omen gaming hub app and how you can actually use it to get the desired performance that you want from your gaming session. We hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.